I think it's safe to say that Quest 3's battery life is not good. Nobody wants to be in the middle of a great gaming session in their headset and get that notification that your battery is low or worse, you get completely cut. Two hours seems to be the industry standard right now for a standalone headset as evidenced by every other Quest headset, the Pico 4, the Vive XR Elite, and so on. But reports are going around social media that a lot of Quest 3s aren't even getting to two hours. So we all agree that the headset could use a little help keeping it up. Today let's go over some ways to improve Quest 3's battery life. Let's get the obvious one out of the way right now, pick up a battery pack. The official Meta Elite strap with battery pack is $130, but the battery on it is only 2330 milliamp hours, which is fairly low. So if you're not wanting to shell out over $100 for an underpowered battery and can't get your hands on a third party option right now, I would suggest picking up a decent spec power bank at a local retailer and running the cord from that into your headset. Be careful about leaving it plugged in if the headset is fully charged as that can degrade your battery life, more on that later. If you're not in a position to spend the extra money right now, you do still have options to get at least another 30 minutes or so of playtime. Despite having a stronger battery than the Quest 2, the Quest 3's battery drains faster because frankly, Quest 3 is doing much more than Quest 2. The color cameras and depth sensor, among other things, means an increased draw on the battery. To start off, use the extended battery mode. You can find this under system settings in power. Similar to a cell phone's power saver option, this will do several things to optimize the headset for lower battery consumption. First, if the brightness on the headset is above 50%, it gets dropped to 50% immediately. It also locks the refresh rate at a lower rate, I believe 72 Hz, which is currently the default refresh rate for the Quest 2. For reference, Quest 3's native refresh rate is 90 Hz, with some apps running at 120. If you don't want to sacrifice one of these, but you're fine with the other, you can adjust your brightness by clicking on the battery and time on the left of your lower taskbar. You can also disable the 120Hz mode by going into system settings and scrolling to the power subcategory. If you want to lower your refresh rate but keep your brightness up, simply turn on the extended battery mode and then go and raise your brightness under the taskbar again. If you are playing a game that does not require you to be online while using it, disable your Wi-Fi. You can do this by going to settings, click on the Wi-Fi, and toggle it off. This will stop several things like media syncing, automatic app updates, and sharing data with Meta happening in the background. All of that downloading and uploading increases the draw on your battery. Turning off the Wi-Fi limits the power draw to the app itself. Then there's the mixed reality. I know Meta has pushed Quest 3 as the first true mixed reality headset, and I've seen some great videos about people using their Quest 3s to watch YouTube while doing chores or cooking. That's awesome and I love to see it. However, pass-through is much more taxing on the Quest than using virtual environments. These two color cameras plus a depth sensor running long term are a bigger drain, so if you're not specifically doing something that requires pass-through, don't leave it on. Next, change your auto sleep timer. This option is under power and system settings and will put the headset to sleep after a certain amount of time of inactivity. I advise this to be set between one to three minutes. Hopefully this goes without saying, but leaving your headset on when you're not actively using it is just wasted battery drain. The Quest uses a lithium battery which naturally degrades over time, but continually running the battery down and recharging it speeds up that degrading process. Maximize how much you get out of a single charge by letting the headset go to sleep if you're not using it for a few minutes. While we're on the subject of degrading the battery life, please, please stop charging your Quest when it's already at 100%. This is part of why I don't like using charging docks. Leaving the battery charging when it's already fully charged can lead to overheating if the dock doesn't have overheat protection built in and a lot of cheap third party options do not. This will speed up your battery's half life over time, meaning your battery won't be able to last as long. Even if there is overheat protection, most cheap charging docks do not have a mode built in to stop the charging once it's full. And you absolutely should not leave the headset plugged in overnight. The battery life isn't great, let's not make it worse. Next, let's talk about shared data. This effect is minimal, but it still counts. Meta has multiple places and options that touch on you sharing your data with Meta, most of which are in the privacy section of settings. This covers everything from tracking to point cloud to room spaces and app activity. Keeping that line open means continual transmission of data and that needs battery power. Along the same lines, turn off audio syncing of your pictures and videos to your Meta app on your phone. You can find this in system settings under camera. If you go into your media folder, you can manually sync whatever you want, but if you're constantly taking pictures and video on your Quest, that auto sync upload is draining your battery. Just sync the stuff you actually need. If you're using PC VR, try to use a link cable instead of AirLink or virtual desktop. You're keeping the headset plugged into a power source, even a passive one if your USB slot on your computer can't pump too much power into the Quest. This will slow down the battery drainage. Last option is voice command under system settings. A lot of this is about reducing the amount of multitasking your Quest 3 is performing. 
Having an algorithm built into your headset like Alexa or Siri that is always listening to your voice and doing your bidding is a really nice quality of life feature, but the extra battery drain isn't necessary if you're not doing anything in the headset that requires it. Short of purchasing an external battery, there's no magical solution that's going to double the battery life of the Quest 3, but the main idea here is to streamline it to only draw battery power for the task you're doing at the time. I hope this video helps you get more time in your Quest 3. Let me know down in the comments if you have other ways to extend your battery life. If this video did help you, tap the like button to help me out and subscribe for more Quest 3 and other VR coverage. If you like my first impressions of Quest 3 after my first night using it, click the video on the screen right now. And as always, thank you for watching.